Copyright Disclaimer Under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news, reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Non-profit educational personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. Viewer discretion is advised. Shalom, beloved. All oh, praises to the Most High. This computer is really is running very slow. Ah, right, there you go. I want to get you up to speed on a breaking news situation that is coming into our newsroom from eastern Afghanistan. We can report that the death toll continues to rise after a 6.1 earthquake has hit the eastern portion of that country. Uh, this is what we know at this time. The death toll is at least 1,000 people have lost their lives after this earthquake struck. Once again, the eastern portion of Afghanistan. It was a powerful earthquake that struck a rural mountainous region of mm -hmm. this country. We can report that the death toll is now at 1,000 people. An additional 1,500 people were injured as a result of this earthquake. Now, uh, let me let me make this clear before we begin. Over here, we have noticed uh, a fair amount of new people that are coming in and we want to tell them that we are not worshipers of nature we do not raise men above the most high almighty we do not worship nature we do not follow men we are not kings queens prophets at least i am not i am none of those things we over here we are simply handmaiden and men servants that is all we take no credits all the credits goes to the mighty one with that be being said I said, welcome, all praises to the Most High. Thank you, beloved brothers and sisters, Jews and Gentiles alike. Thank you for being here. It is good to be here. Today is Wednesday, June the 22nd, 2022, and it's currently 3.04 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh... This is pre-recorded. Now, why is this happening? In Afghanistan, okay, like we said before, any country, in, excuse me, any country, you heard the word stand at the end mean black, okay? Afghanistan, Kazakhstan, uh, Pakistan, uh, whatever stand they have, those were countries that our people were ruling over there. We were somewhat, I just say this, kings and queens over there. We were ruling. Afghani black, uh, Kazakhs black, Pakistan black. Those Gentiles take over our land, take over our world, those poisoners. And then we were drove all over the world and we were imprisoned. Of course, there are still so-called Israelites over there. And then I uh, made the most I protect them. But we must let the people know that this entire earth is in judgment. Judgment has been set. And the so-called uh, church, the Catholic church, the priesthood of the Mahan, uh, the Baptist church, the Muslim, or you see them catching hell. Any type of religious organization out there, they are false and they are catching hell. We are not saying over here we have 100% of the truth. In fact, I do not have the truth at all. The truth is in you. You need to search it yourself. Okay? But one thing remain clear here. We are the children of the light. And the mighty one is doing all those things out there on our behalf. 
he's doing all those things because they treat his children badly. All those things are happening around the earth. The cattle are dying. The earthquakes, the wildfires, okay, the MS, the popcorn, all right, through the school, through the churches. And all those things are happening because there is a judgment. There is a holy visitation upon this earth. The angels are here. Michael is standing up for the children of the Mosai. As you can see, this thing is heavy upon the loins of the poisoners. We are going to go a series of videos, hopefully not all of them are not that blurry because uh, I ordered this Mac and this thing going to be there in uh, between November, between uh, October and September. If I knew this, I would not order it. I would have just get a regular PC, but uh, it's going to take a while for this computer to get there. But in the meantime, we're going to do what we must do, what we have to do, what we've been doing. Understand this, beloved. I am not here to put fear in the heart of the children of the mighty one. My job is to tell you, be at peace. There will be no Jacob's trouble. Those people ain't going to bring no Jacob's trouble because that's what they are going to. They are going to their own trouble. This is called the Gentiles tribulation. This is Esau's trouble. It is time for those people to deal with what they deserve. It is time for the whole world to tell them straight to their faces, man, shut the hell up, pull yourself by the bootstrap. You are going to hell right now. This is on you. You are being judged. And you are being judged because of the horrible and terrible things that you did to the children of the light. Your ancestors literally destroy the spiritual realm. You destroy the physical realm. Now we are in the verge of nuclear war, which will happen. You barbaric people out there are giving money for war. You build all sort of weapon to destroy. You are not about healing and to build. You didn't build anything. You're not going to build anything. Well, of course, you are going to build our kingdom with the whip on your back. It is the truth. You people are here to destroy, take over, steal, murder, rape, and rob. And you are paying you are going to pay for the sins of your forefathers all of you anyone that drain hand to hand with the so-called edomites the so-called moabites the so-called ishmaelites all of your malachites every single one of you you hide behind names and skin color a uh, edomite can be a dark skinned black man we don't care all of you scumbag that came against us, you are going to pay, you are paying. All those events that are happening now, you thought 2020 was a fluke, you thought 2020 was a joke, now we're in 2022, wait until you see 2023. There is a mighty and right and just judgment, a divine judgment, which is upon this earth. Every country that came against us and did us those atrocities, you are going to pay, you are paying. There is no way around that. You cannot flee. You cannot hide. Well, at least you can buy food and stock up on food and see how, this, how long this is going to last. To you, this is going to last a few weeks. Just like you told your people back in 2020, it's going to last a few weeks and we're going to shut down and all that and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Two years later, look at you. Now, look at you. This thing, this judgment will last until your, your kingdom is completely falling. It, it's been falling for a while now. That is why there is this war over there in Ukraine. It is not fake. It is real. I see some scumbags, some bucktooth, backward terrorists are trying to, hey, the cattle's over there, the 10,000 is a conspiracy. Hey, because the media did not report it the way they were supposed to report it. It, 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 it. It's not a big deal to them because they understand their prophecy is being fulfilled. They are being judged and they are doing every single thing to distract you right now. Beloved, with that being said, this is a fair warning. I am not here to bring fear unto you and telling you to flee. Flee to Africa. Flee to Haiti. Flee to anywhere. This is not my job. You want to flee a place? Go ahead. Go. You want to go hide in the desert? Go. You want to flee anywhere around the world? Go. I know me, myself. I'm not going to go anywhere until the mighty one says so. 
if he say go to this place, he will let in us. He will letting us know. I will go, but I will not listen to no damn Gentiles. I'm not listening. I'm not going to listen to no damn poisoners, no damn backwarded two third Hebrew wannabe. Let my people oh flee over there. There we will be protected over there. No, you won't. No, you won't. In fact. We are not under judgment here. They are. We did not destroy the earth. They did. We did not enslave our own people. They enslave us. We did not destroy nature. They did. We did not drop bomb on people. They did. The, we did not murder, rape, and wipe all those people and did all those horrible and terrible things upon this earth. They did. It makes no sense for us to follow the people that are being judged, the people that the plague is upon, and go hide under their wings. I myself, I will trust the mighty one and hide under his wing and protect by his feathers. The angels of here, they are here indeed. All the hours, they are here. We can use them and call them. You don't want to do that. You want to go ahead and put your trust in what the enemy taught you. You go ahead, you do this. As far as I'm concerned, I'm going to do whatever the mighty one put on my hearts to do. Let us keep on moving, Bridget. All of this information is coming into our desk. According to a state-run news agency, officials have warned that the already very grim death toll is likely to rise. <clears throat> information remains scarce, and on this magnitude 6.1 earthquake uh, that did occur very close to the Pakistani border, uh, quakes of this strength can cause a severe damage, which is what we are seeing here. Um, the disaster is going to pose a major threat and a major test for the Taliban-led government. Uh, this is once again a rural mountainous region, a uh, portion of, Ukra of Afghanistan. Uh, you Ukraine. can see here of course, uh, that Ukraine some of the rescue efforts are underway. Okay, those helicopters that you're seeing, those are American-made helicopters that they left over there and then they told the people, oh, they are not working. Those helicopters that we left over there they are not working man big levi you have to understand that like all the equipment that they left over there none of them are working oh you oh you oh you gosh <laughs> now look at you you scumbag left billions over there you fled because you know for a fact the prophecy is being fulfilled. The mighty one called you so he could have sent you over there in Ukraine and get destroyed. A lot of people are like, oh, right, I, yeah. oh World War III is not started yet. But he'd been started since January 6, 2021, when the poisoners goes against their own poisoners and start killing and beating them inside of the capital. We knew this was the beginning of it. All praises to the Mosa. Let us keep on moving. I do want to update this lower for you so that you also know about the individuals that have been injured. Uh, we are getting this information into our newsroom, live, raw, and unfiltered. Um, now, neighboring Pakistan's meteorological department says that the quake's epicenter was in Afghanistan's Paktita province. Now, uh, this is some 31 miles southwest of uh, a major city. Uh, buildings were damaged in this province. Uh, the tremors as a result. All right. Let me tell you one thing those people are not telling you. <clears throat> those things are happening not because of climate change or not because of, uh, I don't know, weather manipulation or they have hop or all this nonsense. Men do not have the power to do this. And if they had the power to do this, they would have done it in the hood. They would have done it to the children of the mighty one. They would have not done it uh, to their accomplice, their associated. This you're going to see, beloved, uh, through certain uh, videos that we have here. The 10 plagues of the apocalypse of Abraham, which this plague over here is plague number five and also plague number nine. We are going to go through a lot of those videos. We're going to see everything is matching up. First, this is plague number five, destruction by earthquake and the sword. You are seeing throughout the world how the war is going on over there in Ukraine and, and, and uh, um, between Ukraine, Russia, and all the other countries that are involved. Of course, you have American soldiers, uh, well, American, uh, city, not American, United States citizen. That's the proper word, excuse me, because we are all American. 
because we're in this part, we are the true original American. Those people that came here and swagged Jack our land, they are not American. They are United States citizen. Okay, so the United States uh, citizens got killed over there. Some of them got captured. Yes, it is a world war. It, it doesn't, world war it doesn't have to mean like, oh, now U.S. is officially uh, uh, in, in, engaged or, or, or involved in this war. Nope, they've been sending weapons. They've been sending people. They've been training all of them. They are involved. This is between them. This is the Gentile stuff. We're staying out of it. We leave it alone. We let them destroy themselves. That is why we have plague number five destruction by earthquake and the swords of course which is plague uh um i believe plague number 10 okay thunder voices and destroying earthquake again thunder voices mean the weather and destroying earthquake is what happened over there one thousand people is a joke you might as well put two zero behind it at least three zero one thousand people is a joke they just, it just happened. They said, oh, 1,000 died. Remember in January 12, 2020, 2010, when the, the earthquake happened in Haiti, they say 1 million of them die, which was the truth. 1 million of us died because those people were the people that was like, the most I just had to remove them. And a hell of a lot more he's going to remove. So, and then when it happened to them, oh, 1,000 died. It's still going up. Or oh, if it happened in China, no one died. We will get to China. Now, beloved, this is the templates of the Apocalypse of Abraham. You have to read the book to understand that the, the mighty one, then the book of Genesis 15, verse 13, promised Abraham. Those are the parts they remove from the Bible, okay? Um, that he is going to visit the earth on the behalf of the seed of the righteous, okay? All right. Um, we, are, we know for a fact that Abraham has one son. His name was Isaac, okay? All right. His name was Isaac, aka Sax son or Sax, Isaac or Sax. Okay? Isaac has two sons, an angel and a demon. Esau and Jacob. Both were his son. We had the angelic sons of Isaac and we have the demonic son of Isaac of Isaac the angelic sons of Isaac's Anglo-Saxons is not what you think they are. And you got the demonic sons of Isaac's. Now the demonic sons of Isaac's is being destroyed. Isaac has a brother. His name was Ishmael. Is that what that is? Yes. Abraham has eight sons. Eight form of Hebrews out there. Those people over there, a lot of them are Hebrews, but they are not Hebrew Israelites. Some of them are Hebrew um, barely Hebrew Midianites because a lot of Midianites they are in the islands okay a lot of them are Hebrew Ishmaelites and all of that all I know a lot of these things are happening to the so called poisoners let us keep on moving beloved let us see what the mighty one is doing around the earth <clears throat> this is over there in Taiwan an earthquake 5.9 okay Hey, Taiwan, those things, they are not reporting them in the media because they really don't want the people to know what's going on around the world. They are lying to them and tell them like everything is back to normal because the CV is not here and uh, um, uh, the economy is doing so well. Uh, um, uh, uh, what celebrities? I mean, Johnny Depp uh, wins some stuff, you know, uh, against his wife and what else? Um... I don't know. Nicki Minaj doing something with her butt out there. I don't know. What's going on out there? Is, is that what that is? <laughs> yeah. So the mighty one is shaking this earth. He's shaking the loin of the Gentiles. Now things are getting too real for them, Regin. Things are getting very, very real for them. And a lot of them right now, they are leaving the churches. They are leaving the religious organization. Okay? Look at this. All right? You see how those people are cowering and, and running away and hide under the table? They are not pulling their gun and start shooting at the earthquake because they can't. All right, because they can't. All right, this happened in Thailand, I mean, in, in Taiwan. All right, and then they reported, oh, zero, nobody died. Did you know earthquake can kill you just by giving you an, an, an heart attack? Just being in the earthquake can literally kill you okay so that was in taiwan let's keep on moving 
This is in Japan. Right? Right, those are the cats. This is in Japan. Alright. So, and people, for some reason, there's so much cats in Japan, man. Okay, you can hear it. Okay. Alright. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this uh, little So, camera got tried to eat all right this is earthquake in japan and those things are not happening like two years ago this is like june 19th to june 20th oh you got this okay you see how those people are running you see how those people are running because they they, they, really, they, can, they cannot face <coughs> excuse me the power of the mighty one no one can Okay, they call it all oh, mother nature and stuff. Yeah, get out of here. And Japan are not, they are not doing this. They are not uh, uh, using uh, uh, the, the technology to um, to literally destroy their own people. Really? Are those all VCR and radio tip? That's a thrift store? Some kind of pawn shop. Okay. This is in, this is in Japan. All right, you see the panic. All right. So that's the Japanese technology. Once this thing hit, it, they told them like there's earthquake. And you know what Gentiles like to say? They like to say, oh, well, things like that happen every day in Japan. No, that's not true. Now it's happening every day. Now it's getting stronger in Japan. Okay? There is, um, did I, did I, while I'm here, let me, let me, um, let me check Korea, South Korea. Um, uh, let me see if I can get this. Death, death cleaning South Korea. No, that's not what I say. Don't be showing me something I don't want to say, man. Okay, uh, something that I want to see. Death cleaning South Korea. Let me see. Okay, here we go. All right. Um, I believe it's this one right here. 특수한 현장에 일을 하고 있습니다. 고독사나 자살, 범죄 피해 현장에 All right. So <clears throat> clean up after Godox Godox sa lonely death in, in, in Korea. For those of you who probably don't uh, know what's going on in the so-called Asian country. If you see <clears throat> a person have a a, a country or any certain place have a specific business of cleaning dead bodies out of houses or homes or so to speak that means this business is booming that means it's happening a lot this fellow he is cleaning a place where someone is dead not because they killed that person or that person committed suicide they just lie down on the floor and they just die some of them been dead for years. Some of them been dead, been dead for months. They never know what they they are lonely, lonely men and women, mostly men. They just die because they lost the will to live. It's happening all over the world, but mainly in, in Japan, mainly in the Asian, so to speak, areas. Why is that? Why, why is it that those people all of a sudden now, they lost the will to leave, they lost the will to do this? Because one, 
there is a spirit in the midst of them. We told you the moment any poisoners are alone and try to meditate, there will be an angel of righteousness that will come to them and then they will be judged and they will be taken away. Two, they, life is too hard. They cannot enjoy the blessing. They are not built for this. That's that's the short cord here. They are not. Is that thing even recording right now? Let me see. Is it? Is it recording? Uh, apparently it is. They are not built for this. They cannot sustain stress. And because of their own greed, because of their own foolishness, because of their own lust, because of their own gluttony, they made their own people slave to their own system. A rent that used to cost, let's say, um, <clears throat> uh, $500. They went and add another zero behind that. You have to pay $5,000 to live in a, in a piece of place. This entire earth is so big, those people make you pay like four, dollars $5,000 to live in San Francisco or New York or whatever for a freaking room. A meal used to cost you like a, a, a dollar, two dollars back then. Right now you're paying 12, 10 to 20 dollars for a freaking meal. Food prices rise. It, it's not like there is no food out. There's just it's the greed in them. And those people cannot survive this. And they don't have the will. And they are dying. Let's watch. Oh, this thing is five minutes. Let's watch like a minute or two out of this. I, I'm going to read for you. Okay. After cleaning, I collect me uh, mementos and hand them over to the bereaved. I used to work as a funeral director. Uh, one client told me she didn't have the courage to go back home and clean up the place where her husband was found. She asked me if I could help her. That's how I started trauma cleaning service. I would rather like to think of myself as a memento collector. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Tell yourself that. Trauma clean, clean, cleaning is just a part of the overall process of orga organizing items. That's one, anyway. When we drive at the scene, when we arrive at the scene, the first thing we do is to pay a silent tribute. Okay? All right, those people die lonely, man. They die lonely. They just stay like that, they die. And then we enter the site. And clean up the place where the body was found. After those, we organize items left by the deceased. We first collect mementos and valuables items. We uh oh, oh, I already read that. Okay. And dispose of the rest. I've been doing this for quite some time now, and every site offer a glimpse of the lives of the deceased. I can make guess their physique by the size of the clothes. You know what he said? He said he's been doing this for a while now. That means this thing happened every single day. They are finding them dead. They just die. It's amazing how this thing happened. I believe I told this story uh, a few months ago. Uh, and not a few months, a few years ago. Uh, when I used to work with those two guys, one of them was really cool. He was a Ishmaelite fellow. He was really cool. Both of them were Ishmaelites, you know, so-called Arabs. And then they were pretty, pretty cool with me and stuff. I was doing security with them. And then there was one Mexican girl that get involved with them, with one of them. And then, uh, the, you know, the guy, he never, he never had any cookie, you know, because where he came from, it's, it, you know, you need to be married to get this thing. When he come to America, this thing is all over in the dumpsters, uh, in the ground, everywhere. So he just picked up one he found, he start eating it. And she, you know, they married, they moved together. And then the other dude came in and he made a bunch of money. He came back. He went back to his country over there and then he came back with a bunch of money. He took the guy wife. His best friend took his wife. And the woman went to him because he had the money, you know, because she's all about that. I, I don't blame her. Some some people do this. And then the dude he just smoked, he smoked, he didn't eat, he didn't drink, and then he just lie down in the bed, and he gave up the ghost. He just died, they find him, there weren't no suicide, he just died. Some of those people they find, it's because of the people that live below them, they see they, their body melted off the ceiling. 
that's what it is i believe we took a, a minute out of that let's take 30 more seconds then we can move okay all right by going through memos scattering around the place i get to know why the person had no choice to leave alone i do feel empathy towards them okay um so this is pretty much all over japan and uh, um south korea and those people are dying man they just die you know they leave some of them leave what we call this the hood again they won't show you this part on tv all right they, those people will not show you that they are living like this if it was haiti or africa <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they, they, you know, they, they be all over people are call them third world country they don't show you this part all right they live in in, in in horrible places and they are poor they live in poverty and they kill themselves so yeah all right that's one of the things let's go back to the disasters again let me see where we are how long we are into this thing Oof. all right now beloved why is all those things are happening why is it like every time you turn on the news it's nothing good anymore usually when you used to turn on the news back in the 80s 90s 2000 pre-2019 it is always us catching hell it is always us you know people skin folk kin folk people that look like us our own people all over it is always us but now it's something's different it, like when when something happened now it seems like um it's not us i mean they do they did everything and their power to make it seems like it is us but you can clearly see it it is not us it is happening because of Genesis 15 verse 13. And he said unto Abram, No of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them for a hundred years. Now, you guys took off a lot of name. You replaced them with them. Uh, they with us. Us with you. You with us. You mess up everything. You know, you think if you can do this, the prophecy will not be fulfilled. Then in 1619 and 2019, we fulfilled this prophecy and the planetary alignments, more knowledge are being increased, more stuff are coming back to us. We are learning a hell of a lot more. We are not afraid anymore. If now someone you're afraid of uh, Jacob's trouble, at least, if you're afraid of the Gentiles, if you're afraid of uh, dying, if you're afraid of anything, that's on you. But over here, sir, we are not afraid. We got our plume. We are covered. The angels are in the mist. You are being judged because Genesis 15 verse 14. And also that nation, whom they shall serve, will I judge. And the black judge is in the mist, aka bound criminal. The death angel is in the mist. That's why you see all those dead people. All those earthquakes and dead bodies. You know, Surfside last year, um, tomorrow, two days, the 24th, uh, is going to give a year when Surfside, the condo collapsed in Miami. Every single person that was in there, no more except for one sister that came out of a window, so to speak. You do know what she came out of. She said, all I see was a light and I go through this window and I came out. She was on the last floor. You mean to tell me one person that was in the in, in, in the last floor? In the last, in the first floor, I believe. And then the whole thing fell on top of her. She was the only survivor? Okay, all right then. Now, and the mighty one told Abraham, I'm going to judge those people with the ten plagues. Sorrow for much needs, sorted cheese and, and sadness and all that, fiery conflagration of the cities, all those wildfires, CD fires, all those fires, all those explosions, all those boom, destruction by pestilence among the cattle, destruction by pestilence among the cattle of dead cattle. Yeah, that video has gone viral, being shared on Facebook more than 50,000 times. And now the Kansas Livestock Association says what happened is devastating. Cakes Eli Higgins joins us now in the studio. And Eli, this is obviously horrible. So what happened? Yeah, Kitty, well, cattle die from weather around this time every year. We're told That's any touching. one of last weekend's weather events wouldn't Ooh, have been a problem. It was the combination of several things at once. 
shocking videos like this spread like wildfire Wednesday, claiming a heat wave killed these cattle in southwest Kansas. Let me tell you something. There was a fire in Kansas. They had more than 10,000 cow die. For those of you who remember this, this video that we did. The media didn't say anything about it. They hide it. It was an independent journalist, so to speak, on YouTube that went and investigated. It was a wildfire that burned them. They find a couple two-legged cow. If you catch my drift, a bunch of two-legged two, two cow over there. Now, conspiracy theorists are coming and like, oh, well, they are killing our food supply because they... Nah, 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 nah. Listen to this. Listen to this. Destruction by pestilence among the cattle and then the next one that coming for you is famine of the world, Gentiles' walls. There was a pestilence that killed those cattle, so to speak. When they say cattle brethren, they mean all sort of animal that the Gentile can eat. Edible animal, which is all of them. They eat anything. From cattle to shrimp to watches to everything. I'm not making this up. There's videos out there, you know, uh, they got restaurant watches over there in China. You go over there, you order a bunch of watches, you eat them. I don't want to play the video. But destruction by pestilence among the cattle, the animals going to die suddenly. Over there in Africa, a bunch of elephants die. Let, let me check this. After this, we'll check that. Let's keep going. And headlines like this claimed more than 10,000 had died. It's, it it's left not many people heat. wondering if it's even real. I have seen uh, some of the videos around and, and it's, again, it's it's certainly not something that you, you ever want to see or something that you ever want to deal with. Turns out it is real. It, 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 look, Kansas listen, man. Look, what those people are doing anytime things happen to them, it's not real. It's stage. It is fake. It's CGI. The government tried to scare you. Oh, they're trying to they try to take your freedom. No man, it's real, son. It's as real as a heart attack, sir. It is real. You got our own people start repeating. I got somebody emailing me telling me, oh, Big Levi, it's fake. And um, you know, they, they're trying to take our food supply, Big Levi. They're, they're trying to starve us. Did those cattle be don't belong to you? Were you the owner? Do you know how, how much money it takes to own a ranch? And Kansas been catching hell, beloved, okay? Let's, uh, uh, because we already seen this video. Um, let's see, this one was June 16, uh, two couple of days, five days from now, from, uh, from today. Let's see the one that happened uh, probably uh, five months ago, okay? We had a video on it. It, it didn't make the news, though. Uh, uh, women kill after being struck by lightning? Wow. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, wildfire kill cattle in Kansas. That was six months ago. Okay, we cannot play this dude video because he will strike the channel. All right. That was six months ago, okay? That was in, that was in Kansas. We played this one, all right? Let's play. Emily, it's been emotional after talking to ranchers, the community members, a pastor, several people just talking about how emotional Hunter this Funk. tragedy is. And you know who's the hunter now? Hunter Funk, Funky Hunter. Why is James Brown wearing, when you need it? Good God! All right, Hunter Funk. Okay, this happened in Kansas in December. They, they didn't bring it like that, version. okay? You didn't hear the conspiracy theories because they, they, they choose to hide it. Uh, it's not real. Uh, no, it was. People just talking about how emotional this tragedy is, and this comes after waking up after the fire hit their community. It's going to be devastating. It will be massive, I'm afraid. The worst episode that I can remember in my history. Ranchers losing hundreds of cattle overnight. I'm not just where they sleep at, not just a roof over their head. Yeah, they've you had a lifetime of hard work and investment. You know, Done. 
God. taken away from them. At God. Morris Ranch, owner Ken Stilo lost his quality bred cows, his family bred for four generations. It's uh, tough to lose one baby calf, but uh, to bury several cows, it'll be tough to bury those. Not only that, but his childhood home. Well, I have a lot of good memories of growing up here with my parents and uh, okay. my sisters, and uh, you know, that's kind of got wiped away. And is and, and we talk about this, how the Mosai is wiping out the history of those people, their memory, their joy. And you can see the uh, plague number one in this guy face, which is solved for much need. And then the fire reconfiguration, that's what happened, all right? That, that was in Kansas, all right? Nobody, you didn't see Hebrews online, people making a big deal about it because they told them what to report. They reported because they believe it was conspiracy. Then it turned out to be real. His daughter also lost her home in the fire. Okay, the sheriff says throughout Russell burnt. County, roughly 10 homes and buildings were burnt. It leaves the community picking up the pieces. Uh, I, I think reality will set in in a few days and keeping busy right now is probably the best thing I can do. Okay, so you see the cars being burned, the houses, for some reason, there's always a cat in those videos. Anyway, so uh, the, the house is being burned, the cars being burned, the cattle's being burned, and then people are like, Big Levi, they, 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 are, they are doing this because they are preparing for, for Jacob's trouble. They're going to bring Jacob's trouble. That's why they are burning all those. Nah, the mighty one is literally remove those people from this place. Is burning the blessing, is taking them away. That happened in, 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 in December 2021, for those of you who remember this. And then now, uh, I would say seven months later, six months later, seven months later, thousands of cattle died from heat stress, heat, heat stress in southwest Kansas. Kansas is catching hell, okay? They say heat stress, but that's not what that is. It's a pestilence. Okay, which is plague number three right here. Okay, destruction, okay, by pestilence among the cattle. Okay, you see the fiery conflagration, you see the destruction, and then the next step is famine, which is already here. Those people think like when they say famine, they can go ahead and buy a bunch of food. I see some clown online telling our people to stack up on food because you will survive this. You will survive. You don't think those people over there in their houses you didn't, you, didn't, you didn't think they had food in there? Stacking up on food? Huh? I think right now is probably the best thing I can do. The sheriff says it'll take a while to know the fullest extent of all the damages and everything they lost. Then they never report it. They never report it. Those people at their houses are loaded with can and stuffed food and stacking up. When the grid go down, they will survive on those food. And then after that, after the war and everything go, they will come back on top again. They, the people that caused this, will rule the wall in a better quality. With equally, you black, me white, walking side by side, you know, doing the same, doing a new thing. Not the same old thing, because the same old thing as the ones that get us in this. The so-called Bill Gates, the guy that got the money to, they can buy, they, they, they can buy every, everything on this, they can buy all the food and stack them up over there. They will survive because they can buy food. They will survive because they can build a bunker. They can dig a hole and hide in there. You think that's how it's going to work? You think that's what that is, Negro? You think because you got money, you can buy food, you, you just hide somewhere and wait until this thing pass? It's not going to happen to you because it's going to come to the city, to the so-called urban people. It's going to happen to the inner city. And then you're going to be in your off-grade place. You're going to be there, like, like those dudes over there living off-grade and stuff. And then nothing's going to happen to you? You think that's what that is? You, you, you think like you're going to stock up on medical supplies, medical tools, food, and all that scumbag stuff. And then when the wave is coming and then you, you, you survive. And after that, you come out of your hole with your food and people will come begging you, give me some of that food, man. And then you say, hey, hey, work for me for that food. Let me rule over you for another 400 years. Then you're going to, well, what you going to do, man? You, you did know how the wealth of this world was, was built, right? From chattel slavery. What you're gonna do? You go you, you're going to put everybody else that left in slavery again, build you another kingdom, and then you're going to repeat that again after another four hundred years. You mean to tell me there is no God? Get out of here, man. The mighty one is wiping you away from the face of this earth, and that is why this thing is happening over there. Let's take a little bit of this and then we will keep on moving. 
Association says while she doesn't have exact numbers, thousands of cattle did die from heat stress across an area Nasty near Ulysses. Lens. She says there was a sharp temperature increase in a short amount of time, on top of a humidity increase and little to no wind. If you add all of that, those things together in such a short amount of time, it led to uh, cattle suffering from, from some heat stress <sighs> in that area that's of the state. Kansas that's farmer not... Greg Peterson saw the video and says it could happen. He posted this on Facebook. Those heat bursts are very localized. They are not widespread. And so that would explain why um, it didn't hit all over the place. Hagen says while heat stress kills some livestock every year, a loss like this is devastating, both financially and emotionally. It's a significant impact, of course. Um, these cattle uh, would be around, have a value of around $2,000 per head um, okay. as they're there. Okay, $2,000 per head. Okay, let's see how much money you folks lost here. About $2 million, is that what that is? 2000 times 10000 2000 times 10000 is $20 million. Ah, $20 million. You lost about $20 million right there. And just one sweep, you lost $20 million. Okay. <laughs> All right, this is no joke. And this is heat stroke. Don't, it don't kill cow like this, man. That's not a heat stroke. They don't know what killed them. They say he struck. But remember, the mighty one were, were, were back in Egypt. He smiked their cattle. Okay? That's why he's, he's still doing the same thing. Okay, who's out there knocking on the door, man? I don't have time for this. So let me keep on going. All right? So, plague number two, number three, pestilence among the cattle. What was this? Babe? Who's that? Ah. Okay, so this is uh destruction pest destruction by pestilence among the cattle, all right? Um we're gonna keep on moving. From the air, the scope of the damage becomes clear. Chocolate brown water still flowing through homes, ranches, businesses, and farmlands. In the afternoon, it started rising even more. Okay, and farmlands. The Mosa is destroying the food supply. We told you, when those people need food, they're going to have to come to us. When they need things, when they need protection, they're going to have to come to us. They act like whatever's happening, it's, it's going to be some random destruction. It won't. It's going to be a targeted destruction. You will be targeted. Both of you. That's what it is. It won't be something that just happened randomly. Nah. You will see what it is, who they call Adonai. You will see his full strength, his full power. The Mosa is destroying you because of what you did, not because of how oh, oh, hey, the Democrats are killing babies and abortion and all that. And how people love to say this garbage. They love repeating what the Gentiles are repeating. Then tell them, wait, 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 no, 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 this is not about this, man. You people been sending our little children to alligator bed for, for a while now. Those things are happening to you because of what you did to us. You enslaved us, you didn't give us any anything, no reparation, and you own our land. Oh, well, America was founded by the forefathers, came here, there ain't nobody here. They found a few savages, Indian, that look like this, exactly. And then we civilized them and stuff, and, and stuff like that. And then you think you ain't gonna, gonna pay for the things that you did. That's exactly what that is. The mighty one is attacking their farmland and then destroying their stuff with flooding them out. And we had to move everything to high ground. Floodwaters now reaching Billings, Montana after forcing the evacuation of thousands from Yellowstone National Park. Whoa. As boulders tumble down mountains, extreme flooding threatening to alter the spectacular scenery of Yellowstone, a national treasure known for its geysers, mountain meadows, and majestic animal species. While so many human lives have been disrupted, Yellowstone officials hope wildlife has not. As of right now we don't uh, think the animals are being largely affected except 
there's no visitors, at least currently, uh, watching them. Yeah. Uh, Tark that's, supervisors that's the say thing. Still... The mighty one moved them, okay? The mighty one moved them. So, uh, uh, beloved, fear not. There'll be plenty of food for us. Your food will grow. Whatever that you plant, it will grow. Whatever animals that you have in your farm for those of our brethren that live off grid, fear not. Nothing's going to happen to you. They, they will be healthy. They will be protected. You'll be amazed that like your neighbor that lives next to you have to go ahead and come and, and, and offer stuff to, to offer like, hey, neighbor, can I cut your grass? Oh, one bowl of meal, you know, uh, at least for some hot meal, at least because you're going to be protected. They are not. Still too early to assess the damage to infrastructure, but this year's tourist season will be severely impacted. While northern entrances are expected to remain closed all summer, it's hoped the southern loop section of the park, which includes Old Faithful, could reopen within weeks. However, park officials say the number of visitors could be limited to avoid overcrowding. One thing that we definitely know is that half the park cannot support all of the visitation. So we are exploring a range of options. But the communities surrounding this, the park, okay? which have been hit Look hard. Look at this, man. Okay, those are million dollar houses, man. Okay, those are million dollar homes over there being destroyed by plague number 10, which is uh, thunder voices, okay? Uh, the weather, the flooding, all right? And we've been telling those people this all for two years now. Is that what that is? How long will, oh, almost a hound. <laughs> all right, let's keep on. So we've been telling those people this for two years now. They act like it's gonna get better. When we say something about the ley line, oh, you guys, like, uh, pseudosciences. Yeah, 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 pseudosciences. Yeah, whatever, man. Boom tube by the floods largely rely on tourism and as the flood waters recede the cleanup begins neighbors helping one another with loss and muddy homes we thought we had it and then a bridge went out and it diverted the creek and the water started rolling in the back broke out a basement window started filling up my basement hmm. and then i quit it's like okay she quit because she was trying to fight the water now let me tell you what you're not seeing here. You don't see FEMA here. You don't see the National Guard here. At least you don't see them shooting our people. You don't see those people looting the place. Well, at least they don't show you that. You don't see people calling them names and say, oh, oh, this part is like a, a low employment, a, a poor soft part of Montana and stuff like that. And then uh, you don't see uh, people over there call, coming and crying and, oh, man, why is this happening to us and stuff? And, 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 oh, oh, this is so heartbreaking and, and, and stuff. I mean, wow, why this is keep happening to us, people of color and stuff like that. You don't see the Red Cross coming and humiliated those people, giving them food and then film it on camera and say like, oh man, hey, we, we, we're so sorry for your misfortune. Here's some crackers and a peanut butter, a little juice. You don't see that and you won't see it. They hide that. The water one. An unstoppable Look force reshaping okay. lives and iconic landscapes. Wow, Miguel, and in addition to all of that, it okay, this fellow name is Miguel. So, is it Miguel or Miguel? Because it seems to me that is that what that is? Is it Miguel? Let, let's see. Let's it appears see. that floodwaters may have impacted some of the drinking water in a town. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, over in Billings, this, the largest city in the state of Montana, about three hours from here, floodwaters are currently threatening a water treatment plant. Look if floodwaters wood, actually man. get into that treatment plant, it could shut down clean drinking water to that city of about 100,000 people. Right now, they have water for another day, day and a half. Mm -hmm. It's just another example of how widespread the problem is here. Hoda, back to you. It is. All right, Miguel Almaguer. Thank you, Miguel. All right. His name is Miguel. Okay, of course. I mean, of course. We know what Miguel means. You know, Daniel 12 and 1, who's in the mess. And what hour are we here is? 3.55 p.m. No. <laughs> it should be like 9.40 something for you. But let's keep on moving, Bridget.
Yes, the world is an ocean. Ah, uh, you see the electrical cord? You know what that is? Okay, you see, those gentiles can even, let me see, um, whoops, uh, they can even enjoy their their concert, okay, freak flooding causes us lead to cancel Maryland concert, okay, inside edition Maryland concert, Halsley, all right, there you go, this is better. They say the show must go on, but that just wasn't possible to concert venue outside Washington, D.C., thanks to horrific weather. And it left fans of Halsey both disappointed and drenched. Water is pouring in from every angle. It got so bad the singer Halsey had to cancel the show at the last minute. As a result of the weather, the show is not happening this evening. The venue even declared a shelter-in-place order, leaving many fans stranded. Some were forced to seek refuge in the bathroom. Others were ankle-deep in dangerous waters inside the arena. Just look at those electrical wires. The crazy storm even brought out rodents. Gross. Yeah, there was a lot, of, there are a lot of rodents. Now, you see how the Mighty One is, is uh, uh, spoiling, were ankle deep. Is spoiling everything that those people are doing. Okay, they can't even go to concert any uh, concert anymore. That's not the first time that happened. Remember that last year concert with LL Cool J? <laughs> yeah, with, yo, uh, it was. Uh, let me see if I could if I can find it. Okay, um, New York uh, can't concert LL Cool J storm. No, let me see. New York concert LL Cool J hurricane. Flooding? Was it flooding? New York concert flooding LL Cool J cancel. No, that's that. Uh, that's not what that is. That was it. No, that was a year ago. That was a. Am I, anybody remember that a year ago when a bunch of white folks, you know, uh, is what what that is? Uh, LL Cool J cancels New Year's Year a performance after positive, uh, you know, CV. Uh, it was a year ago. LL Cool J came in. They were doing some concert in New York. Um, the flooding, and they actually had to send those people away. You know, um, you know, wow, six hours. Well, let's look at this. Okay, there was an argument. And then this woman shoot a man point blank. Is that what that is? Okay, she just walk out of there. Philadelphia um, police searching for women. Uh, woman caught on camera shooting man at point blank range. Is it? Is it the dude? Is some deal went wrong? Oh, 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 man. Oh, damn. Oh, did that dude die? It's It seems like a deal. No, I think he's waiting for a deal to turn around. Oh, shot the dude. Oh, mm. damn. Oh, she just walk away. Wow. Philly don't play this, man. <laughs> man. Multiple tattoo on chest. Uh, something happened. Dodge Magdom. Tag unknown. Damn. Yo. <laughs> the sword is in the miss. I don't know what happened here, man. What did the brother say to her? Probably was waiting for her. I don't know. It just... You know, she had a phone. Uh, she, 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 no, they were, it's an argument. She's saying some stuff. And then he asked her what you're going to do and turn around. She shot him. Oh, man. Point blank range. She shot him. Anyway, man, <laughs> you know, hey, the two are going to give you hell, man. You know, hey, the sword is in the mist. This is plague number nine, execution by the sword. 
flight and distress it is still here let us keep on moving man crazy Okay, this is in China. More than 1.4 million people in southern China's Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region. Okay, again, I do not like to play those guys up because of the whole robot thing, but anyway. 60,000 people missing in China after massing flood in uh, Guangxi. Okay, so anytime things happen, the flooding is killing so many people in China, brothers. Millions of them are dying. You know, China got a billion people. And then they reported like zero people dying. Look at this. Region have Look been affected by heavy rainfall since early June. Did you know it's been flooding in China for the past two years? It never stopped. Okay, the flooding never stopped. For those of you who watch, who've been watching for the past two years. Okay, the flooding never stopped. Rain-induced flooding has intensified along some waterways, including the Zhejiang, Xinjiang, and Zhejiang rivers. Okay, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. The power. Five people went missing in Gudu Village, Rongchui County, after a wooden house collapsed. A group of more than 100 people was sent to rescue work. Okay. Remember the video that we uploaded uh, a year ago where there were dead bodies were floating Local in the water? Local authorities in the city of Wuzhou have suspended boat traffic on this section of the Zhejiang River, and downpours have also hit many parts of Gilan, causing severe flooding. Alright, this is not fake, okay, brethren? I know people will try to convince you that the whole thing is fake. In Yangshuo County, more than 1,000 staff and students are reported to have been trapped in three schools due to rising flood waters. Alright, so that's the Heavy rain the is forecast to continue in the region until June 27. Okay, the, 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 those are the rescue people, the water just took them. Okay. Large swathes of southern China were hit by violent storms, causing flooding in cities and landslides in the countryside as the first summer rains reached their peak. Anyway, we give the mighty one great praise, great glory. The flooding is heavy over there. Let's check for India, if we got for India here. Whoa! This is in Michigan. Alright, there's a landslide. Holy Alright. This is in Michigan. A lot of landslide over there. All praises. Okay. So this is India. Alright. That was so close. This dude almost had it, man. She's got an angel protected. Yep. Okay, those guys are, are running on top of this bridge while this thing is collapsing. There's a truck over there. Alright. So, 
people think like the mighty one is playing this is a joke okay he's, he's like removing those people from the land over there all right he's removing them from the land okay you see how they're buried in the in the mud they barely can get out the mud is chest high his hips high all right okay Okay, look at the look at look at the, the floor of water. Right? The Mosa is literally cleansing those people of the land. children being rescued and the engine cannot push this thing and then people people are gonna watch things like that and they're gonna say well you know um they, they are doing this the elites are controlling the weather so they can bring jacob's trouble and stuff like that you know it you know jacob's trouble uh, yeah jacob's trouble man you, you got to know uh, uh you know jacob's trouble and stuff you know, and, and stuff like that. It's gonna happen. Yeah, the Gentiles gonna get prepared to get together to bring us Jacob's trouble and kill us again. Yeah, whatever you say, it, son. Let's keep on moving, man. So, all right, gravitas. Putin, Russia will use nukes to defend sovereignty. This upload today, the June the twenty second. All right, let's look at this place, and they will use it. All right, Ukraine before and after uh, the war. All right, okay, look at this, and then look at that. Destruction of money. Hospital, how you go? Look at this. Look at this. All right, and then you 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 want to sit there and tell me this is Jacob's trouble? You want to sit there and tell me when you look at the image like this, and then you're going to say, "Oh, hey, this is fake. They're trying to bring fear, the Illuminati, the the elite playing this. Oh, they playing that." They plan to destroy their own people, people that look like them. You you think this is fake? You take a beautiful place that was like this, people living in peace over there, and then the trees are all green and and all those stuff. And they burn it so they can bring you Jacob's trouble. How is that going to work? So they can I don't know, so they can force Russia to is Russia part of the UN? Is that what that is? Let me see. Let me see if it's if it's uh, part of the UN. I believe it is. Is oops. Is Russia part of the UN? According to NPR, Russia is one of five permanent members of the UN. Okay, so you know, you backward prophecy say the UN going to invade here, not anywhere else here. And so, uh, is that what that is? Russia, uh, uh, wait, and he's uh, Ukraine part of UN uh, uh, too. Is Ukraine part of the UN? According to ukraineun.org, since 1992, Ukraine has been an active contributor of personnel and equipment to the UN peacekeeping operations. Ukraine actively participates in the activity of the principal organs of the United Nations, 
General Assembly, Security Council, Economic and Social Council, Human Rights Council, etc. So both of those guys are part of the UN, the United Nations, that's supposed to keep peace in the world, and something like that is happening, not, nobody's saying anything. With something like that happened in Haiti, oh, you barbaric people, you, you savages, you this, in Africa, you this and this and that. This something like that happened in the hood, you this, you this and that. But when it happened to you people, everybody act like, oh, oh, Slava Ukraine. And, and, and they need more money. They need more help. They, they need more advanced weaponry. They, they, need, they need more st stimulus check. They need them to shut your... <coughs> Why don't you go ahead and show the living snake up your... <coughs> Yeah, get out of here, man. You don't know what you're saying. This ish is real. Right? This is called Kiev. And this is after. Before and after. Okay? All right? This is not a joke. Huh. This is not a joke. This ish here is real. Enjoy. All right? That is. So they are doing this to rebuild this okay look at this look at this place they are doing that so they can rebuild it hmm? so they can rebuild it better what was wrong with this place over there what was wrong with it oh big levi you have to understand they got technology they're going to build things better and stuff they want to they want to build a dystopia where rich people on top as if rich people were in the bottom Hmm? Hmm. Is that what that is? Hmm? Please tell me. Huh? So they're going to rebuild this place better. What what, what was wrong with it with, with this place right there? Let's keep on moving. They want to re do you know how much materials cost right now so they want to rebuild this place is something was was this place is this is this the before or uh, is this the after what this was this place like that then they fix it because if a place is like this this is not good i would not leave in a place like that i would rather them to fix it like this so in order for them to fix that they render this place into this you see how backward the Gentiles uh, conspiracy theories is? Oh, they're going to destroy the world to rebuild it. What, what's wrong with the, the wall of the Gentiles? They were living on top. Oh, they're going to do this so the elite can live on top. What, so what? where they were living? You think they were living at the bottom? We were at the bottom. So now they're going to destroy us again? We already destroyed people. What are they going to do to the hood? They haven't done to the hood, man. What are they going to do to our people? Shooting us again? Exterminated us? Is that what that is? Uh, please, tell me what those people are going to do to us they haven't done before. Hmm? Get out of here, man. Okay, this is Kiev, all right? It's the capital. Gonna be cheap fixing something like that. that is. That's what the war has done to Ukraine. Yes. Almost four months now and counting. Russia has been dropping bombs and it's not done yet. Hmm. Vladimir Putin is chasing a decisive victory and for that he's ready to push the nuclear button. The Russian president says they're deploying nuclear missiles. Listen to this. Our armed forces now have the unrivaled S-500 air and missile defense systems. Sarmat intercontinental ballistic missiles have been successfully tested. We're planning for the first such complex. will be deployed by the end of the year. Remember the scumbag that say Putin were no more? Remember those people were rejoicing? Yo, big Levi, man. 
They say Putin is no more, man. Hey, man. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I don't come back to normal. Now nah, look at you. <laughs> you buck tooth backward scumbag monsters. <laughs> now look at you. Oh, Putin is dead, man. Big Liver, I told you, man. The most I. You know, those people, are, they may look like that, but they're one of us. We need to pray for them. Get the hell out of here, man. Yo, man, get, get out of here, man. Go sit your ass down. You don't know what's going on here. Get out of here. Nuclear missiles, the deadliest weapons in Putin's armor. He's threatening to use them. Listen to what he said last week, and I'm quoting. This is from the Russian president. We aren't threatening anyone, but everyone should be aware of what we have and what we will use if required to protect our sovereignty. Okay, they will use it. He will. <laughs> You people think this is a joke? He will use it. He will use it. He will use it first over there in the land where he is, and he will use it here. <laughs> Get ready to see some real hish. I'm not scaring our people. We know we will be protected. Gentiles, I... To the Gentiles, listen. Somebody gonna... You know how much a nuclear weapon costs, or one of those nuclear missile costs? You're gonna shoot one, you're gonna shoot it in the city, you're going to shoot it like in a, in a hood, what does people in the hood have? What do we have? So you're going to take out, you're going to take over our country. You go attack the poorest people, the people that can't do anything. Is that what that is? You're going to leave the military base untouched. You're going to leave those people that have the money that can fund it, the war untouched. Yet you're going to send it in the, in, in the midst of the hood to eliminate those people because, oh, they, they are so useful to this war. Uh, is that what that is? Uh, they're going to send missile and get out of here, man. None of this stuff will touch us, but it will touch them. It will touch you. Vladimir Putin was talking about nuclear missiles. He wants to deploy them by the end of this year, 2022. How serious is this threat? He is serious. And where can Russia use these nukes? On Gravitas tonight, that's what we'll discuss. First, let's show you the weapon that Putin is talking about. This is it. It's called the Sarmat. It's also called the Satan. Now, this is an ICBM or Intercontinental Ballistic Missile. What's an ICBM? It's basically a large missile usually designed to deliver nuclear warheads. It has a minimum range of 5,000 kilometers. That's the criterion to define the ICBM. Okay, so that many can go around the Earth. The Sarmat is the largest ICBM anyone has bothered to build. Putin has made some very big claims about this weapon. He says it can hit, quote unquote, any target on Earth. Does any target anywhere it travels at speeds of more than twenty-five thousand kilometers per hour and it can carry more than 10 warheads <laughs> of course these are russia's claims it's difficult to verify the true capabilities of this weapon but putin wants the west to fear russia's nuclear arsenal the russian president is sending a pointed message do not stand in russia's way that's what he's saying and why should we be silent? We will respond accordingly. As soon as we answer, they cling to it and say that Russia is threatening. We do not threaten anything, but everyone should know that we have nuclear weapons and that we will use them if necessary to protect our sovereignty. And he will. And he will. You know, you Gentiles are in trouble, man. You're in deep hash, man. You're in deep. Oh, we will use a nuclear. Ah, yes, you will use it in Africa. Because this is how you guys are wi wired. Anytime something bad's going to happen, it have to happen to us first. Well, you use this in Haiti. You use this in the hood. No, it won't. Use this right there in your ass, man. <laughs> you, 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 you know, I, I sit there and I mock you people that go off grade and thinking that the so-called Russian don't have the tab on you when you go off grade. You billionaires go off grade. You that financing all those while you go off grade and taking those people don't know where you stay at. They don't need one nuclear nu nuclear uh, um, a warhead to take you out of, of your off grid. They're going to say that a small team over there and take you out. But I got guns and stuff like that. No, none of those things will work for you, man. This is the time for you to be tremble before the mighty one. It is time for you to run. Run, little rabbit, run, go hide, dig a hole and hide there. Tremble and fear. Let's keep on. How long are we are into this thing? Wait, 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 let's, let's go to the listen. All right, then. 
Ooh, Model of Three dies in double fatal um, head-on crash in '95. Is that what that is? Let's watch this. Huh? Climate change? How, how is climate? Man, this computer, man. Order this freaking Mac. Daily, a crash that took the lives of two people. I don't believe this. It's just still so unreal to me. It's still so unreal to me. Yeah, Antonia one, Brown is... coming to terms with the loss of her daughter in that crash. That was my first baby. Oh, Jesus, that was my first baby. That's the one that made me a mother. That's the one that got me to where I am today. Lanaya Bathia, a 24-year-old mother of three, was one of the two people who didn't survive. We got a family group chat, and whenever we need any of them, we call them by numbers from one through five. And now we miss the number one. <laughs> okay, this is, this is hard to watch, man, okay? And we told people out there, there is a judgment. The ley line is being active, okay? And, and of course, you know, a lot of people don't, don't, don't listen. And they, you know, they just go out there unprotected, you know? At least right now, you should be able to know what to do when you get out. You should be able what to carry with you when, do, when you get out. You should be able to know who to address when you get out. You don't live your life just like the Gentiles and the, the poisoners and the two-third. This thing is real, son. It is. Lanaya's mom says her daughter was driving home on 94 after working an overnight shift at FedEx and Romulus when tragedy happened. She fell asleep at the wheel because she was going eastbound and swerved over into westbound traffic and it was a head-on collision. Michigan okay, State Police did confirm that, the sedan crossed from one side of the freeway into oncoming that's what they say they say your daughter fall asleep coming traffic but police also say they may never determine why she crossed the median that's the, the sedan thing. crashed into a pickup pushing that vehicle into the path of a semi the driver of the semi escaped with only minor injuries both the sedan and the pickup ignited in flames the driver of the pickup died and has yet to be identified Lanaya's mother says, through her own grief, she must now help raise her three grandchildren, ages seven, three, and two years old. She put the babies first. Whatever she had to do, like she was doing last night working, she put her babies first. Antonia knows she has big shoes to fill. The family has set up a donation page for anyone who wants to help. You could find a link at fox2detroit.com. In Romulus, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News. Okay. Oops. Yes, you appear to be from Mulki Razi. All right. So let me. Daily. A crash that took the lives of two people. Dot com. Okay, let's watch this one. You know that saying, a picture speaks a thousand words. What you're about to see does that and some. A dad holding his infant son gets a gun pulled on them just a few feet away. Okay. It's just upsetting. It's difficult to watch. I mean, it's just no regard uh, for human life or, or for the life of a child. On oh. Father's Day, no less, surveillance photos of a man pointing a gun at a 25-year-old Detroit dad holding his seven-month-old baby boy. Okay, he's 20. 25 years old the son is seven all right all right so and and then you got the two turn in the miss man and and those those people they got to go man okay they got to go a, a little argument you know this dude watch this and then the video you see the gunman in that khaki bucket hat okay. marching into this valero gas station in the corner of hubble and tireman about a block away from this location there at tireman and the um and hubble uh, he had encountered this individual. It appears they had some type of argue, argument. Argue. Detroit Police Commander Michael you know, Chambers just, just says an they didn't know yeah. each other. No history there. You can see just as he pulls the gun two feet from Dad, he acts quick, hitting the gunman's arm and locks him outside. That's where green light surveillance video catches the gunman looking at the pistol, like maybe it jammed, and that's why it didn't fire. That's why we don't know if it was like he didn't kill him. He was going to kill the dude, man. You know, but the guardian angel protect this dude. You know, and protect the baby. All right, just a, 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 a argument, and this dude was going to kill this guy for I don't know for no reason. And 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 then when this guy go out there, okay, okay, when this dude go out there, he got what he deserve, and our people will be emotional, like yo, why this happened to this dude? Okay, yeah, but did you know that he tried to murder this guy? You know, the gun literally locked in his hand. There's a baby in there, man. 
And, and, and the, this is what I, I, we told our people, man, hey, man, them niggas, they, they got to go, man. They, they can't be in the midst of us, man. No regard, man. You know, there is um, um, camera and all that. I'm not telling that. I'm not saying, okay, you should have waited until the dudes go somewhere by himself and took him out. But he has a baby, man. And those guys won't care. They will shoot him and the baby, man. He was ready to fire multiple shots. Gunman's arm and locks him outside. That's where green light surveillance video catches the gunman looking at the pistol like maybe it jammed and that's why it didn't fire. We don't know if it was like a malfunction or like a stovepipe or some kind of way yeah, it just the guardian didn't, angel didn't like go it. off. The guy ran off but left behind okay. perfect images that DPD posted to okay. social. He left perfect images images that means the dude was 25 and the baby was seven month, seven month old so you know you know perfect perfect the mighty one is in there man you know a guy like this you know and they go acting hard out there and then they put him down and then our people won't look and they won't stop they say okay who was this dude man what happened there and what what, what it was put down in this manner and then we'll be all emotional. We get dragged into this. Then, you know, and we're on a low vibration because a dude that vibrated in a low frequency did something like this. Then he got dealt with. Social media and sent to us. I'm sure that we'll be uh, getting a flood of calls coming in and, and hopefully we can get them real soon. And they did. By Monday afternoon, hours after releasing the suspect's photo, they arrested the gunman with the help of the public. No one was hurt in this very close call, but still, Detroit police are seeking felonious assault charges. Reporting on Detroit's West... Yeah, man. Things like that happen, man. Man wanted for killing his own father, all right? We told you a lot of those people in your own family. This dude could be an uncle. Somebody probably... We got people in, this, in Detroit could even know this dude, okay? They, they are the troublemaker in the family. They are the guy that always the loud mouth, and they are the guy... You get into a little argument with them, they just kill you. You know, they just kill you, you know, a little argument and stuff. This dude came in with a gun and tried to kill the guy with the baby. I don't know, man. All praise. Let's keep on moving. The sword is in the mist, man. All right. This is wildfire over there in Spain. All right. Multiple wildfires burn in Spain during heat waves, and they are not saying anything about this in the news. Let me put the volume down. They are not saying anything about this in the news about Spain. Okay. All right. No one, no one saying anything. Okay. All those fires, which is plague number two, right here. Okay, plague number two, fire reconfiguration of the cities. Oops. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let me stop this. This is stop. Let's go over there. All right. The houses are being burnt down and no one saying anything. No one is saying anything. No one saying, say, wait a minute. Those people are under judgment here. Man. Nah, nah, big if you have to understand this is Jacob trouble and stuff. Jacob trouble. This is Jacob trouble here in Spain. You know, if the news was reported this, they would have find the darkest man they could find in Spain and say, hey man, how'd you feel about this fire that you just set up over there? You know? All right. All praises to the Mossad. Keep on moving, man. Hmm. This is over there, uh, an explosion at uh, a, a petrochemical over there in, in China. What? Right. Huh. Got this. All right, this is no joke, man. This is no joke. Huh. Fans of that and don't want to. Multiple angles. And, and, and then and then you'll have Hebrews online glorify the Chinese because they created a sun. 
the Chinese created a sun. No, I mean, they had a giant flashlight. That's what that is, you know. facility everybody evacuated uh, mind your own business yeah whatever yes is this is this, this is jacob trouble okay yeah okay whatever man whatever you say son this is a tornado over there in china all right down. this is tornado over there in china all right china is catching hell china is catching hell Yep. China is catching hell. Earthquake, fires, floods, and all that. Okay? Right. This is in Turkey. See how the hell destroyed the car, the houses, the tree. Okay? This is plague number six right here. Increase of hell and snow. Okay, look at this. This is not fake. Men cannot do this. Men do not have the power to do this. Men can't do that. They don't have the technology to do none of this nonsense. Talking about like, oh, oh, hey, hey, you know, and, and stuff like that. Okay, look at this. Oh, look at this dude. Look at look at that guy. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me enlarge this. Uh, look at this dude, man. Out of all the places you choose to ride your bike, right here, man. Look at this. Another Biden. Look at. <laughs> yeah, man. This is Biden cousin right there. Could be Biden brother. Okay, look at this dude right here. Look at that guy. You know. Look at this dude, you know? <laughs> like, yo, why, man? Like, why? Why? Why would you do this? Why would you choose to go ahead and, and walk around like this, man? In, in a freaking hell, hell places, you know, the, the hell story. <laughs> you know? Come on, man. Okay. Plague number six, that's the hell storm, brothers. All right. The mighty one is indeed in the mist. All right, there you go. Let's keep on moving. Okay, this is a hell that hit the city of Mexico again. See the, how the hailstorm destroyed the place? This is plague number six, increase of hell and snow. This is in Mexico right now. Look at this. This is in Mexico. You see, you see, you see that, you see that struggle over there. 
And then our people are so worried about Jacob's trouble. How Jacob's trouble is going to happen. Hmm. All right. This is real. Let's keep on moving, man. This isn't fake. This is real. Let's see what do we have here? Okay, this is a fire over there in, in, in Spain again. Okay. And then those houses are burned down. All right. Okay. Barely escape. Barely escape. Okay, those homes are burned down, Gretchen. They don't want the people to see the mighty one is literally remove them from the land. Literally burning down their houses and their homes and their blessing. Look at this. And then they're acting like they won't show you things like that in the media. Is that what that is? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, Flee. Yeah. Okay. Flight in distress. They are fleeing. So they fled the place. Alright, that's what it is. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, man. So this is no joke. And then and, and people will keep asking, well, okay, look at this. Okay, those people are fleeing, flight in distress. All right, let me show you. This is plague number nine, I believe here. Okay, flight in distress. They are fleeing. They are flooding the place. Flooding, fled, fled out, flood out, flee out. <laughs> evacuation and then you you want to sit there talking about jacob struggle J J jacob struggle or struggle it's, 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 please man get out of here Let, next video man i can feel it all right this is a toronto canada all right Woo! whoa oh my god Woo! those are whoa those are all praise each boom is a praise and glory yeah, those are the... Woo! Wow. Oh, come on. Wow. This is the Pope and Tank. Oh, my Woo! God. All praises, all praises. Damn. <laughs> Dude, they're going to need... Like, they're going to need, like, a f***ing helicopter. Holy... Hey. How are you? So are you over at the office? Okay, I pause before you come over here. You probably can't get here anyway. Uh, the building across the road is exploding. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my oh, god. Oh, I'm sorry, it's man. What is it? There's, there's oh, been a good that? half dozen okay. explosions already over sorry. there. And the flames are, the flames are probably, well, I don't know, 30, 50 feet high. Well, it just happened. There was a big loud boom, and then, uh... ...so fast, so fast, I had to jump.
The boat owners who escaped a terrifying yacht fire are speaking out today. You know, everything was just burning so fast, so fast, I had to jump. Diane and Kit Watson and the first mate, yes. Jared Tubbs, live on the beautiful 70-foot yacht named Too Elusive, or at least they did before it was consumed in an inferno. They were heading to port in New Hampshire when the blaze broke out. And the fire just ignited and engulfed the whole boat in flames. I mean, your first thought is life, Jack, because you can't, they're on fire. Second thought was the raft, you can't, it's on fire. They knew they had to save themselves hmm. and their dogs, Pama and Nancy. We grabbed the dogs, jumped off and swam away. That's it. The best we could. Did and you guys you think go. in those moments you could lose your lives? Yes. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, that's, that's oh, a yeah. great question. Absolutely. Right there. That's, that's they a were great rescued question. by... You know, with a boat freaking on fire like this, so you, you thought you would have lo you lose your life? I mean, like you jump in the water, obviously, to save your life, but did, did you really... Did you really think that you would have uh, um, saved your life by not jumping in the water? Get out of here, man. You know, get out of here. You scum of the earth, man. You know? Yeah. By a local lobster fisherman. We got people on board. They're safe. And they could only watch from a distance okay. as their cherished yacht went up in smoke. You lost everything. Everything. The Watsons are staying with family <laughs> until they can figure out what to do for a home. I was just so grateful we got out alive. Yeah, and that was it. And that's we're, it. We're no, but that's yeah. bull. That's bull. That's not you got you you guys regretted the the, the whole thing. You would have wished like you would have saved everything. You, you're not grateful because you get out of life, okay? This is plague number two right here. Fiery conflagration of the cities, burning down their yak, their boat, their blessing, all places. Keep on moving. How long we are into this thing right here? Whee! All right. Okay, so mass casualty accident reported in Will County. Okay, mass casualty, okay? Lay line, collision, a lot of people are dying, man. All right. Yeah, you go, man. People are dying. You know, look at this, man. Look at the damage of this thing, man. Crazy. Let's keep on moving, beloved. In the newsroom with more. Yeah, Nicole and Calvin, let's take a look together at these live pictures from Sky 10 out of Miami International Airport. Now, here's the good thing. This plane has landed safely. That fire has been put out. No injuries to report. But let's talk about this flight that we are looking at. This is Red Airlines flight number 203. It left from Santo Domingo, landing at Miami International Airport about 30 minutes ago. Now, what we're getting word of is that there was a fire on board this plane. As you can see, that fire has been put out seeing lots of foam in that area as well. 126 people were on board that plane. Again, no injuries to report. In fact, all, 100, all 126 passengers were able to get off the plane and were bused to the terminal. So again, we're looking live at these pictures. A plane catching on fire, but landing safely at MIA. Its origin from Santo Domingo, flight number 203. Now we have been looking at these live pictures from Sky 10. We're seeing planes taking off and landing here at MIA, but of course, always something to consider if you have a flight to catch later this evening. You may want to check to see if there yeah. are any delays involved because of this situation that happened. Lay lines. Let's keep on moving. Sorry about that. Not so learning again. more tonight about a bizarre car crash in Dutchess County. Bizarre. A trailer with a very big load crashing into a business with an apartment upstairs. A woman sleeping in bed and ending up somehow on top of the top of the truck that crashed right into her home. I would assume border market. Okay, for those of you who've been uh, watching this for a while, you do know those things happen now all the time. People are sleep at, at they are at, at their house in their bed sleeping, and the next thing they they wake up on top of a car or below a car or in a pool, and they don't know what happened. Huh? That's what happened. Marcus with some amazing stories and video of what happened. He's live at Hyde Park for us. Marcus. And Bill Jr.'s lounge had been here since 1981, a neighborhood fixture sometimes referred to as the Cheers of Poughkeepsie. Now, there were three people inside. They escaped serious injury, though the driver of that truck 
was killed. After 40 plus years, we never thought this is how we would go out, so I, I don't think it's the end. I hope it's not the end, at least. Family members salvaged what they could today from Junior's Lounge, a Dutchess County fixture now reduced to a pile of rubble after a freak accident. It's close to home and it was friendly and hmm. just a real nice place. It happened around 1030 yesterday morning. An out of control, fully loaded dump trailer slammed into the establishment on Saw Point Turnpike, smashing through the ground floor bar and restaurant. The owner of Junior's was inside, but walked out just 12 seconds before impact. Lou Rossi actually heard the tractor trailer crash into other vehicles as it approached. His daughters are glad he's alive. He was on the other side of the building, luckily, and was able to get out. Um, but where he was sitting, his paperwork was found under the wheel of the truck when the truck was was taken out. Also go. spared See? two occupants in apartments upstairs. The impact sent one woman who was asleep flying. She and her mattress actually landed on top of the truck. Hmm. She suffered minor injuries. She was literally directly on top of where the truck was. Yeah, yeah that, it's yeah, that her cat awesome. and okay. her her cat in her. For some reason, there's so much cat in there. Hang on. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. Egyptian god of death. No, it's according to Encyclopedia Britannica, Osiris, one of Egypt's most important was deities, Egyptian was god, god of the underworld. Sekhet. He also sip. No, sect. Sect. Is that what that is? Sect. Not sect. Sekhmet. Yes, Sekhmet. I was studying her though. Sekhmet. Uh, also spelled Sakmet, Seket, Saket, among the spelling, Coptic and stuff. Is a warrior goddess as well as a goddess of healing. She is depicted as a lioness. She has been the protector of the fowl and led them in warfare upon the deaths and continue to protect them and Solar and stuff. Whoa, Sekhmet is the daughter of Sun God Ra and stuff like that. I believe she's a vengeful, a vengeful spirit. Sekhmet. I always remember her as a cat. Okay. Sekhmet, uh, spell Sekhmet, uh, a goddess of war and the destroyer of the enemies of the sun god Ray. Uh, so she did both disease with healing and medicine. Um, all right. Yeah, she's a cat like. So that's the only thing that pop up in my mind. Because I was just studying her for a while, but I have, throughout this video, I keep seeing cat, 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 or line, line, line. In fact, we know Abraham taught the so-called the Egyptian, the, 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 um, the, uh, oh boy, not the Hamites though, the previews, uh, um, files that was there, uh, oh boy, uh, oh man, oh, there's, there's Ham, Shemites, the Shemites. Okay, Angela, of course, the angel they, that they told you they did this. Angela Gleason, hmm. Angela over here. Her cat and her both survived. It's crazy. The driver of the truck was killed. Police say 33 year old Craig Allen Dixon of Pauline was seen driving erratically after first getting into a crash two and a half miles away. Oh it's unclear if he suffered a medical episode. My heart goes out to the family of the driver and to everybody. Crazy stuff, man. Let's keep on. How long we are again? Oof. Let's keep on moving. Yeah, and how can we? How can we ever take the low road in the church? All right. So, Roswell pastor reacts to seventy shepherd and churches and Georgia disaffiliating from United Methodist Church. Why? Historic yet difficult moment. Pastor Glenn Hannigan was in the room Thursday as the North Georgia Conference voted to allow 70 churches to disaffiliate from the United Methodist Church. Honestly, it was very hard to sit through. And it felt as much like a wake as anything. So for us, it, it's not a celebration. You know, hooray, we're free. It's it's more like we're just sorry that this had to happen. Hannigan has been the pastor at Ebenezer Methodist Church in Roswell since 2010. In 2019, the General Conference voted to alter its stance on homosexuality to be more welcoming. We have uh, LGBTQ members of our church. Uh, I can't tell you 
the feeling it was when we voted unanimously. North Georgia Conference officials say yeah, churches are requesting disaffiliation make up about 9% of churches in the conference uh, and represent about 3% of the membership of the United Methodist Conference as a whole. Hannigan hopes this move will bring his congregation even closer. The relief in the church and the joy was not necessarily that we were going to disaffiliate, which is a painful decision. The joy was we were together and that, and that we haven't lost anybody. And as far as I'm concerned, we're not going to. In a statement, the conference writes that while it doesn't want any church to disaffiliate, it is committed to a clear and healthy process and that it is painful when there's a division in the church. It's sort of a knee-jerk reaction is that we're doing this is that we're you know, either trying to keep people out, we're doing the opposite. We want to create a place where people are welcome and they feel loved. The disaffiliation agreement allows churches to leave the denomination through the end of 2023. Tens of thousands of people joined a protest outside the Gare du Nord station in Brussels. Over 70,000 people are thought to have taken part in national demonstrations over the cost of living in yeah, Belgium. Now, now Widespread feeling... disruption at Brussels airport also halted all... Again, um, when it comes to... Oh. When it comes to things like that, I really have nothing to say when it comes to you people now realize cowboyism is destroying your community. Of course, they had to put a black woman there. Did they put a black woman there? I think they, they did. Where is it? There was a black woman. As there. we enter LGBTQ. Uh -oh. Damn it. Yeah. Oh, boy. All right. Where is it? As we enter LGBT. There we go. Um, yeah, <clears throat> let a black woman uh, uh, report it, and then uh, in the whole process, there was a black woman there. Where is it? North Georgia Conference. There you go. You know, gotta zoom in her face and show her she's crying like she, she didn't want that happen. I mean, that's what they are showing you, you know. And we told our people, get out of those damn churches, man. Stay away from those people. They are they are going to, they are being destroyed. They are going to be destroyed. Please stay out, sister. Don't go to those things. You don't need those gentiles to 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 show you the 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 route to your home. You leave. You form the kingdom. You are going to inherit the kingdom. You don't need the people that you're going to rule over to show you how to show you how you're going to rule over them. You know, so, yeah, that's what happened, man. So, the people that were uh, gung-ho, excuse me, on pushing that hash on us, and now they don't want it on them because now they are seeing it's mostly them. Not us. All praises. Let's keep on moving. All right, then. Mutual aid. And okay. at this time, this there is, are uh, no this evacuations now, and Bridget, no structures there are being... Let, 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 let me tell you, this is Coyote Fire. Wildfire burns part of Hollywood Hills. This is Hollywood Hills near Universal so Universal Studios. I would say Universal Soldier with Jean Claude Van Damme. You know, uh, you know. Hey man, this is Hollywood Hills, man. Uh, you got people that stay over there in, 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 in California. They can tell you where this thing is, man. Well, Marla, Christine, I can tell you that there has been a massive response to this fire. Take a look at the visuals that have been captured by Sky Fox. Mm -hmm. We could see that orange glow from miles away and firefighters just battling it from the ground and from the air. This fire broke out around 9.30 p.m. in the 3600 block of North Barham Boulevard. It is locally located above a dog park near the Ava apartment complex. And as I said, firefighters have been busy with this blaze, making sure that it does not spread. They've been hitting it hard from the ground and from the air. Several water drops. There are 72 firefighters, LA, LAFD firefighters, and at least four water dropping helicopters that are fighting this blaze. They're making sure to douse the flames to prevent them from getting closer to any of the homes. This is now being called the Coyote Canyon, the Coyote <laughs> Fire, and that's because it is moving toward the Coyote Canyon, according Plague to number LAFT, two, LAFT. fiery conflagration now, of the um, city. They've also Hollywood Hills. They're getting assistance from other, uh, from county crews as well, and mutual aid. And at this time, there let are. Let me see. Let me see any uh, if there are, if there are any updates yet. This is no joke, man. This thing is real. I'll be like, oh, 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 well, you have to understand, Big Cliff, this is fake. 
they're, they're faking the stuff. Yeah, <laughs> whatever, man. Uh, let me see. Clean water marks for 94% of California Beach. For some reason, uh, so much hash been happening. Coyote fire containing in Hollywood Hills area. Is it is it the update? Mm, I think that's the last one. Yeah. Let's keep on moving. Tens of thousands of people joined a protest outside oh, yes. the Gare du Nord station in Brussels. Over 70,000 people are thought to have taken part in national demonstrations over the cost of living in Belgium. Widespread disruption at Brussels airport also halted all outbound flights. So, those people are catching hell right now, man. They, they are catching hell, you know? And they are asking for more money. Uh, let me read what they have in the flag right there. And uh, that is There we go. Um, it says, plus de respect, plus de salaire, uh, which means uh, the, um, um, the more respect, the more money, the more salary, I, I believe. Uh, give us more respect, give us more salary. Because <coughs> the standard of living is dropping over there. But those people forgot what their king okay king leopold okay the atrocity that king leopold did in africa to our brethren okay and then they they forgot what this man ordered another aid of hitler okay ordered this is what you people did man you know this is what you people did all right you cut off the hands of our people all right you enslaved them you do this, all right? This is what King Leopold did. Kill over like 12 million uh, uh, brethren over there. And then you people are wondering why things are so hard for you, you know? Why? Get out of here. As announced last night, all flights departing from Brussels airport today were cancelled. We have flights arriving and here too, there are obviously a lot of cancellations for operational reasons. Therefore, approximately a fourth of incoming flights are operational. Obviously, it was a difficult situation and a decision that we had to take last night. But given the very limited number of security guards present today, it was impossible for us to ensure the safety of both passengers and employees. The Belgian yeah. protests are organized Things by are trade unions demanding political them. leaders do more to address the yes. cost of living crisis and to reform legislation to allow easier salary oh, negotiations. The Belgian capital see, came see. to a near standstill with public transport networks badly affected. Trams and bus services faced route closures and worker absences. The situation uh, oh, could okay, get worse like, still like in the country screen. with planned oh, pilot and cabin oh, crew strikes, yeah, which are the, due to start from big, Thursday. In Inflation know, hitting 9% ah, right. in Belgium yeah. in June. Yeah, so, <laughs> you know, those people are catching hell now, man. They, things are not doing too well for them. Zaza. Aviation community in the valley mourning the loss of two men killed in a crash. Their plane going down just outside Buckeye Municipal Airport. And new tonight, a fellow pilot and close friend of one of the victims speaking with our vent in Blandon. Julian Munn has been flying four years and says some of his time in the air was spent with Emmanuel Flores. It always hits pretty hard at first. Uh, it's a lot of disbelief. You don't really think that it's going to happen to people you've flown with because you've seen them fly. You know they're capable of doing it. Police say Flores and another man were killed in a small plane crash Saturday near Buckeye Municipal Airport. Julian, a fellow pilot speaking with ABC 15 at Falcon Field in Mesa. He guesses he and Flores spent about 40 hours flying together. He says it's the first time the victim of a plane crash is someone he's flown with before. It's uh, hitting a little bit closer to home for that reason. Federal officials say the Cessna went down in the desert area. A second man on board, Daniel King, was also killed. But it's Daniel King, King Leopold. We we're just talking about this. You can't make this up. 
okay um uh you know he's in the miss man michael is in the miss so this guy did a lot of atrocity okay this is what you did to our brethren cut off their hands and then taking picture and stuff like that you people are proud of this you're proud of that you know and then you're wondering why why there's a war in europe get out of here man it's unclear which man was piloting the plane as for julian he is sharing his grief on behalf of the valley's aviation community there's a lot of devastation among us because emmanuel flew with a lot of us in this community okay this dude name is emmanuel is that what that is emmanuel i mean let, let me let me hear this there's a lot of devastation among us because Emmanuel flew with a lot of us in this community. Okay, what he was his name is some Emmanuel? I don't know. It's let me see. He guesses he and Flores spent about forty hours flying together. He says it's the first time the victim of a plane crash is someone he's flown with before. It's uh, hitting a little bit closer to home for that reason. Federal officials say the Cessna went down in the desert area. A second man on board, Daniel Keane, was also killed. Okay. But it's unclear. Daniel King. Let's see this into the whole thing. I wasn't paying attention. I was talking. Plane crash devastation. This tight knit aviation community in the valley mourning the loss of two men killed in a crash. Their plane going down just outside Buckeye Municipal Airport. And new tonight, a fellow pilot and close friend of one of the victims speaking with our vent in Blandon. Julian Munn has been flying four years and says some of his time in the air was spent with Emmanuel Flores. Ah, there you go. <clears throat> I didn't catch this. I was talking. I got distracted. Emmanuel Flores. The word Emmanuel means God is with us. And this dude standing there like an angel. Okay. With wings and all that. You can't make this up. God is with us and he was with another fellow named Daniel King. Daniel 12 and 1. I mean, if you think we are making those things up, good luck. Let's keep on moving. Late collision. One boat overturned. The other began to take on water. Several other people were left injured, including children. Local 10's Christian De La Rosa is live with the latest on the investigation. Christian. Nicole Calvin, I spoke to a woman who is the daughter and sister to the two men who died in this boat crash. She tells me her pain cannot be described. And she also tells me off camera she is eager for investigators to find out who is to blame. 80-year-old Pablo Castro Diaz on the left and 42-year-old Osvaldo Castro were father and son. Both were killed in a boat crash late Friday night. Sources tell Local 10 News the captain of a 30-foot antique boat had just left the Biscayne Bay Yacht Club with at least six passengers hmm. when it T-boned another much smaller vessel. This crash report obtained by Local 10 News says multiple people were ejected <laughs> into the water upon impact. The smaller 18-footer seen here had five people aboard, including the father and son and two children. A good Samaritan called 911 and was the first to respond until authorities arrived. It's also a body, a body floating. Investigators are still trying to determine who's at fault. And as we've been reporting, multiple people were hospitalized. Those who survived are recovering tonight, including those two children that were in the smaller boat where the two men died. The ages of those children, 11 and 12 years old. Live in Key Biscayne, I'm Christian De La Rosa, Local 10 News. All right, well, turning to some other news, a man who was mauled by dogs earlier this month has died. Hmm. Fox 26's Don Molly Keith reports from Huffman. A neighbor found Nicholas Vasquez pinned here in the ditch with three dogs on top of him attacking him. That was June 9th. After 10 days in the hospital, he has. <clears throat> Plague number seven, wild beast will be their grave. Let's keep on moving. Now died. Relatives and some neighbors now say they want the dog owners criminally charged. I thought I heard a moan. I heard the dogs barking. So I went to the corner of my yard here and I heard another moan. 
When Calvin Stoy went over to the ditch shining his flashlight, three dogs, each a pit bull mix, ran off, and Stoy called 911 when he saw his neighbor, Nicholas Vasquez, had been mauled by the dogs. Man, it, that's, it was that's sad, man. You know, see this dude, man, he just, you know, can see life. This dude was done with life, man, you know. I mean, you can see he's just sitting there, man, and drinking, you know, just... Can't wait to go home, man. This what happened. Called by the dogs. It, it was That's bad. It they was. pretty much were eating him at that point. Oh. Kelly Vasquez says her uncle suffered dog bites on nearly every part of his body and had to have his legs and an arm amputated. After 10 days in the hospital, Vasquez died Sunday. His hey. body couldn't take it anymore. She says she just wants justice from the law this this shouldn't have happened yeah but you remember your forefathers the spaniard when they came here they sick dog on our people and the dog did eat our children they did eat our men and women you know so i mean i don't i don't see why you know you want justice for this so that's what that is he was a nice person to everybody Kelly is translating for her mom, Maria Castillo, who says her brother-in-law was well-loved. It hurts. Very hard. Some residents in this Huffman neighborhood say that was the first time they saw one of the dogs, which belongs to a neighbor, roaming free. But they say two of the dogs belonging to a different neighbor were often wandering the neighborhood and had actually bitten Vasquez on his ankle less than two months earlier. They're constantly chasing people. Yeah, the dogs would attack kids and they used to just bark and stuff. It's a crime to let your dogs run loose like that. Animal control has taken the dogs. Some say they want the dog owners charged with a crime. Yes, they should. They should be charged. I think he should face manslaughter. The Harris County Sheriff's mm -hmm. Office says investigators will now meet with the district attorney's office to see if any charges will be filed. In Huffman, I'm Domalee Keith, Fox 26 News. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. So now, these... Um, this Hong Kong restaurant, iconic Hong Kong restaurant, it capsized. Okay, it capsized. Okay, uh, those people, the most is removing their blessing from the land. You don't belong over there in China and in Hong Kong, wherever. Okay, this restaurant, people used to go there having their wedding there and all that nonsense. It closed down uh, in 2020. Because the mighty one closed theirs, you know, the, they didn't have no money, no money was flowing, and then now, and people want to make sure, like, oh, oh, they they did this and 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 purpose, they capsizes and purpose, no, the ley line took it, okay. This is a restaurant that you people go ahead, you swag it, jack our stuff, you know, you enjoy the blessing, and then the mighty one say the blessing is done, okay, it, it is done. There's nothing you people can do about this. It is done. All right. Okay, this thing capsized. This thing cost millions of dollars. It was iconic. It's done now. All praises to the most. I keep on moving. The uh, media is actually set up at this overpass across the FDR Drive. Okay, That's where we're expecting a press arm. conference shortly with police to update us on this mass shooting that happened overnight. Take a look at this video that we got from overnight. This is some crazy video uh, showing people running on this overpass. A large police presence around 1235 in the morning. As you mentioned, nine people shot. One person is dead. Uh, four people were transported from the scene, and then several other people actually showed up at Harlem Hospital on their own. Hmm. So there's a lot that we don't right. know so, right now, but we do know that nine people got shot here uh, at the... Nine people got shot. Let's see this ambulance over there. There's a number. There's a lot here. that we don't know right now, but... There's a number. I, I can't see numbers in there, but anyway. It's we do on. know that nine people got shot here. Uh, well, we at know this, nine uh, got what shot. appears to be uh, <clears throat> some sort of gathering happening at a park on the other side of the FDR Drive. And uh, we spoke to some people overnight who were here. Uh, listen to what they had to say. I feel like it's just only going to get worse. You know, you that, got protesting going on, that, you got all this other stuff, but then that's the protesters are not focused on the black crimes. Okay, that, 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 there you go. <laughs> Always, uh, no, put a nigga over there, yeah. It's being doing towards each other, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So until that gets attacked, it's just, 
it's just gonna keep on getting worse all right so okay a dude always over there to put the black on black crime so anyway i don't blame this dude all people don't understand when when the judgment is in the miss and there are certain people you need to stay away from it. i don't blame this dude and and you know a lot of these things you know a two third in the mist man they are out there partying and then you lose your cool you go in the midst of them and hang out with them and one of them hallucinating and say what you say to me Nikon? where you from and by the time for you to open your mouth to give an answer you're down okay and then uh you know our people will not target it things like this okay they will go ahead and do something else they will protest for the, for instance, there's a cowboy month coming, or well, are we all in a cowboy month? You know, and then they will protest for that, the right to shove things down there, you know, and they will protest for abortion, they will protest for anything like the Gentiles tell them. But and if for coming in the hood and then teach the people how to get along, get together, and then worship the mighty one and stuff like that, it can't be done. You see how Brethren tried, the so-called the Hebrew Israelite camp, they tried, it, it, it won't work. You know, certain people, they need to go, you know? It's just gonna keep on getting worse. You know? So. Morning at about 12.40 okay. a.m., police responded to numerous reports of people shot at East 139. So anyway, always put a couple Negroes in the background and put the whole blame on them. All praises. Okay, look at this. Boom, ley line. You know? Okay, this fellow just go around. You know? Go around the, the thing. It's down. But I'm in a... Excuse me. But then I'm in a hurry. This is not in a hurry. You could have easily go, but it stopped. Okay? Stop. One, two, three, four. You got four seconds. You stop. That means like you did not want to go. You wanted to go somewhere else. Luckily, the driver had minor injury. You know? Breaking news out of downtown Las Vegas, where a large fire has destroyed several buildings and injuring one person. This happened on Fremont and Tower Street. That's just west of Eastern hmm. at one o'clock this morning. Las Vegas Fire and Rescue is currently on scene, continuing to put out hot spots. Between four to seven buildings are completely destroyed. A few of those are condos. Around two dozen cars were also scorched in the fire. Officials say the first building that went up in flames was a unit that was under construction. Nearly 50 units and 150 firefighters were called there to that scene. Now let's go ahead and take a live look here from the uh, traffic cam at Charleston. The fire is mostly knocked down, but it's not completely out just yet. They tell us up to 100 people are still out of their homes. Now on this camera on the left hand side is Charleston. On the right is, is uh, Fremont. You can still see the emergency vehicles uh, there blocking Fremont Street and a couple of them on uh, Charleston as well. It's in between those two. There is a block of condominiums. The evacuation center has been opening up at Hollingsworth Elementary School for those who are out of their homes. Red Cross is also helping those evacuated. Uh, crews remain there on scene to continue the investigation. Now, the public information officer from Las Vegas Fire and Rescue tells me this might be the largest fire he has battled in his 26 years there with the department. Hmm. Again, up to... All praise is plague number two, fiery conflagration of the cities. Let us keep on moving. <clears throat> People were yelling, trying to alert one another and get everyone out safely. Firefighters say they were called to the scene at 733 11th Avenue around 11.15 a.m. It was really crazy, for sure. Fire alarms or anything. We just woke up because some guy was, was ringing our doorbell. Ringing the buzzer. Neighbors describe chaos and say some good Samaritans jumped into action, ringing buzzers and yelling so everyone knew to get out. Hmm. Sierra Queen says she was home alone and had just gotten out of the shower when she heard the commotion. I was like, how do I get out? Because I didn't know where it was coming from. I didn't know if it was in the actual apartment building, if it was like a stove fire or something like that. Philip Lee tells us he was hit in the shoulder by hot rubber debris as he fled his fourth floor apartment just in time. Time. And as I went further downstairs, it got, the smoke was, it was almost white. There was, there was so much smoke. <laughs> um, and then we managed to come out. The fire reached two alarms before it was under control, and fire officials spent the afternoon investigating the cause of the fire. There were numerous uh, lithium ion batteries in, in the uh, occupancy. After the control of the fire, uh, we brought in our hazmat units, and uh, they uh, worked to remove and overpack the lithium ion batteries. 
And the fire chief, who you just heard from, also tells us that 200 lithium ion batteries were found inside of the first floor of the building. Now, this is a mixed occupancy building, so there's a commercial storefront you see there on the first floor, and residents. Oh, All praises to the most, I mean. Plague number two, fiery conflagration of the city, is only going to get worse, all right? Initially, FDNY said that two people passed away, and sadly, this afternoon, they confirm that they have now three people who have, did not make it in this uh, horrible fire. And I did speak with one of the family members by phone, and they provided these pictures. Uh, this is 59 year old Ananda Raj Persad, along with his 22 year old son, Devin, in better times. And then we have a picture of 53 year old uh, Ananda Raj's wife, Bibi Salima. Um, Fire officials tell us that the family were trapped inside the basement of their home on 125th Street and did not make it out alive on Friday afternoon. Now, firefighters were called here around 2 p.m. and that fire was large and it spread fast, engulfing the entire house, uh, even catching onto neighboring homes on both sides. Officials say windy conditions on Friday certainly didn't help the situation. The flames even jumped to two homes across the street. Now, many residents here who were inside um, those homes scrambled to get out as more than 200 firefighters and EMS workers battled the fire to get it under control. Uh, initially, fire officials again reported two people were found deceased in the house, and again, we have learned that there is a third death uh, Three in people this in the same horrible family. situation. Now, many people who live here trying to come to terms with this. Uh, you're looking at back here live at the house on 125th Street. New York is catching hell. Up the charred homes. Uh, the one that you see with the uh, scaffold the green scaffolding that is where the fire started and the two homes to the side again okay, so on 125th street and did the, not the, those are fa father father and son okay father and son and the mother you know a you know he just celebrated his birthday 59 years old and that's it man you know yeah he yeah they, they die like i told you man the gentiles man you know hey like number two, fiery conflagration of the cities, man. No? And we lost everything. A shocking scene at these homes in saint marc sur le lac 47 kilometers north of Montreal. This one was struck by lightning and went up in flames on Thursday All during right. a severe thunderstorm. The fire quickly spread to neighboring homes. No one was injured, but the houses are a total loss. And the family that lives here lost their dog. He was uh, really the good dog. He's been there for us in every situation. And we lost our cat two years ago, oh. uh, two weeks ago. Elizabeth. And now Mark it's my Thompson. dog. So it's really hard to. So, yeah, see, their home, this is in Canada. I told you those people are catching hell over there. Their home struck by lightning and then destroyed the, the whole place and a couple other houses. Lose someone you you love very much and to say goodbye to the place where you built a life and mm. memories it's hard to lose everything it's material i know but it's hard to i don't know where my kid gonna be sleeping in a few days and months i cry a lot i didn't sleep last night uh, yesterday i was uh, totally in shock I, I fall in the ground when I saw my house and burning we heard a clap of thunder it was a sharp noise so my husband got up suddenly he went out he saw the smoke was starting to envelop the house around the roof the wind from the storm was so strong that it pushed the fire to the two homes next door within minutes. At the time, Environment Canada had even warned of potential tornadoes in some parts of Quebec. First time I see that in 22 years of experience, lightning uh. directly striking into a house and completely like burning a house. That's pretty, I don't know what, you, what word to use, maybe stunning. We talk a lot about uh, cigarettes uh, or uh, so, uh, forgot something on the stove or... 
like this, never. I never see that. Pretty much giving me the goosebumps just to be here this morning and seeing what it's like. And St. Martin is a small town, a small community, and it's people that you know we know here in, in the community, and everyone has been mobilizing. The Red Cross is helping out the family the next few days, but their future remains uncertain. I'm a bit scared. In two uh, two nights, uh, they are. They have nowhere to go. I need to be strong to my children and do what is have to do put, to have a house and we need to go on. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration this week revealed anyway. there have been 273 oh. crashes in the past year involving self-driving Teslas. That's a number far greater than had been previously reported. Now a doctor has died after his Tesla was involved in a fiery crash. Again, beloved, uh, as you can see, uh, this thing is not getting too good for the Gentiles. And, uh, you know, a <clears throat> it's really bad for them. And... We see how the mighty one is in the midst and all the stuff that we've told those people and it's been happening and we barely have time to even go into those things. Again, two women, two dogs killed by lightning in Pico River. We just watch a, 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 a stuff, a lightning uh, strike a house. Okay, so now two dogs got killed by lightning. Okay, um... Let me see, hundreds of thousands evacuated floods ravages South China. Now they want to report that. Now they want to do this. Okay, they say hundreds of thousands evacuated. They don't tell you how many people that are no more. Okay, all right. Um, teen received 140 years sentence and uh, for um, Valentine's Day killing of family members. So, yeah, so much things going on, beloved. So, I will leave you with peace. Um, I say fast, pray, repent, repeat. May the king reign forever. There'll be no Jacob's trouble. Um, you know, I leave you in peace, man, because there's nothing else I can tell you that I haven't told you or that's not going to happen. I can't save you. Only the mighty one can, if he choose to. Okay? Don't forget the 24th, uh, two days from now. Oh, and talking about the 24th, um, uh, somebody sent me, uh, somebody sent me something uh let me see uh somebody sent me something uh yesterday no 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 uh oh boy let me see it's uh, this is it uh let me let me let me go look for it um you know i don't need to look for it uh that fellow sad guru is that what that is is that what his name is um now let me see the name of the video. Uh, let me see. The sister sent me this video. Oh crap! A sister in the nation was watching, and she saw what what this dude. I just post something. Oh, I don't need to do this. It's on the community post. Let me see the community post uh, before I left for the people that uh, you know check the community post. Okay, all right. Um, is that what that is? Uh, so, so the poisoner, they are doing this too. They are doing, um, they are doing June, you know. Uh, most significant uh, days is coming, June 21st, June. Uh, must do this thing uh, tomorrow. So they are telling those people to go do things too because they see us, we are doing, okay. And then um, uh, they say that June 24th, most must consume June 24th, those two things, honey and lemon. So... That's what the video say. I'm not going to play it. Okay. Uh, let me stop it so the people can. So this is what it is. Okay. Must consume these two things, honey and lemon juice on 24th June. All right. Excuse me. Okay. So. All right. So those people are doing every time we're doing something. Uh, they all of them are doing it. Okay. June 24th. You know, you need to go ahead and do this or whatever. So. All oh, praises to the most high, man. They are doing it too, you know. And uh, they, they, the only way, the only thing they, they didn't do, the only way they didn't do our stuff is because they cannot find the tobacco, you know, they can't find it. So that's what it is. So, yeah, 
All praises to the most high, the swagger jacking is real, man. Those people are not keep swagger jacking. Whatever we post, they stole it. They swagger jack. Let me let me show um witness the Christ moment moment frightening moments. Uh, when Vic is stuck over passing Broward. Uh, Broward, what the hell is going on in Broward, man? I live there. Oh, anyway, so, um, okay, so, okay, uh, Swagger Jacking, uh, Perry Stone again, you know, he stole all the information about uh, uh, um, this video that we released uh, five months ago, uh, where his sister had... Uh, uh, yes, beloved sister. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Uh, yes. This How video. can I help you? Okay, I've been trying to get in touch with you for the past okay, two or three months. Sister Lori and had I, the, the dream, and Abdullah Seer came in and then give give the more interpretation about Lot's wife, and then he literally saw a jacket, you know. So, whatever you say, son, you know, whatever you do, you know, hey, you're always going to end up at the bottom of the lake. All praises to the Most High. Shalom.